Hello, I'd like to welcome Joe Weinman from AT&T, who is at the Telco 2.0 conference discussing cloudonomics. One of the things that Joe brought up in his discussion was around this notion of hybrid clouds. Joe, could you tell our audience what a hybrid cloud is and why an enterprise might be interested in using such a thing? Sure, it's a great question. It's certainly one that's top of mind for many CIOs today. Basically, CIOs are really looking at two choices. One is continue to do their own processing in-house, or two, leverage the rapidly accelerating market for cloud computing services, be they infrastructure or uh, platform or software as a service. And the question is, what balance or which application should be in their own data center? which should be in the cloud and in effect are there additional new opportunities that cloud architectures offer that would allow for hybrids of enterprise data center coupled with cloud service provider capacity. So I think that the answer to that we really all know intuitively because the same way that we own houses and yet we uh, also stay in hotels and we own cars and we also rent them. It turns out that the economic optimum is typically a balance between the enterprise data center coupled with cloud resources. And In fact, I've shown this using a variety of simple math and a little bit of calculus uh, basically to determine that a hybrid cloud typically is optimal. Now, what does that really mean in practice? What it means is that enterprises are going to continue to run some applications within their own data centers, legacy applications, tightly coupled spaghetti code applications, some more throughput oriented apps. But the cloud can really provide a variety of benefits due to the inherent differences both from a business and technology and practice perspective than what enterprise data centers can offer. So I've got things that I need to have in my internal data center because I'm worried about certain security, but then I have things in the cloud. Is it possible to have those two work together and be synchronized? Because I know that's a question some enterprises have asked me in the past. Absolutely. So, in fact, if you look at a lot of the architectures that we deploy now for customers, they will do things, for example, like put content delivery and their web applications uh, in our internet data centers and then they will run the back end to those applications, for example, databases and transactions of record within their own data centers. So that offers a really good balance between the back end capability coupled with now this geographically dispersed customer facing capability offered through the cloud that enhances the customer experience, especially for highly interactive applications. The other balance is one where they use their baseline capacity within their own data center and then as demand grows, for example a retailer during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday or pre-holiday gift buying period, they can then extend into AT&T's cloud uh, while they keep some of their processing within their own data center. So hybrids are not just good for global warming, but they're really good to balance out all the things that enterprises are looking to do. For example, increase flexibility, maximize availability, reduce total cost and capex, enhance the user experience, accelerate the timeliness of development and deployment of applications, and of course maintain appropriate levels of security based on that application. So it sounds like we can have the best of both worlds, the best of having your own data center and the best attributes of the cloud pulled together in a hybrid nature. Exactly. Great. Thank okay. you for having us. Thanks.